Hello brothers and sisters in Christ of the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day Around the World. Praise and glory and honour to our Heavenly Father who in Jesus Christ is reconciling all people to himself and he has entrusted this ministry of reconciliation to his children here on this earth. And so we have a high and noble calling in Jesus Christ. And so no matter how we viewed the uncertainties of the past year with COVID-19, we can be confident that the God's will and his purpose is accomplished in our lives and therefore in our ministry in this world. We thank God for faithful and courageous people in different nations and countries and languages and ethnicities who remain faithful to God in the name of Jesus Christ despite uncertainty. We've seen this year the emergence of the home family group because we haven't been able to earlier this year meet as we would have liked to because of national government restrictions and the challenges that we've together faced. We have faced restricted travel. We have faced issues where we've been unable to meet. And this has caused us as a body of Christ to view how we will proceed through another year and beyond. But we can be confident because if we look at our shared history, especially in the last few decades, as a body of believers, we have become more articulate and clearer in our Christ-centered position, where Jesus Christ is Lord of our churches, He's Lord of our hearts, He's Lord of our homes, and He is Lord in our prayers. We hasten the day of Jesus' return, when He will be Lord of all the nations. And this is something that we carry to our Heavenly Father, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it's done in heaven. Now, as you may know, the Quadrennial Congress of the International Ministerial Congress, held every four years, was being planned to be held in Nigeria in November this year. And of course, because of the unusual year that we've experienced collectively, this has now been postponed to next year. Please keep that in your prayers. But we also will be celebrating, as we have done every other year, the IMC's annual Sabbath, and this will be held on November the 7th. And it's an ideal opportunity for us to see God's good handiwork among us across the diversity that exists within our shared fellowship. We have seen the emergence of, as I mentioned earlier, the home family groups. We've experienced in lieu of our meeting personally, live streaming of Sabbath worship and the use of virtual meetings to, to bridge the time in which we live. But it's also given us opportunity as a body of Christ to reassess what our priorities are and how we walk into the unknown in the name of Jesus. It's also given us opportunity to dedicate our hearts more to dedicated and sincere prayer. And it's also given us an opportunity to truly stand strong in Christ and be the people who we were meant to be and who we are born for such a time as this. Now the theme for the IMC annual Sabbath is salt and light and it reflects Jesus Christ's high calling for us to be preserving agents of his righteousness in the world and to be a beacon of light in this ever increasing darkness that we see all around us. And our participation and shared journey in the diversity of the Church of God's Seventh Day is also characterized by generous hearts a compelling willingness to contribute abundantly to the ministry of evangelism, of edification, discipleship, so that the gospel can abundantly flourish under our watch and our stewardship. And we pray that we, are, we are, invite everybody, general conferences, local churches and individuals, to contribute generously for the International Ministerial Congress as we work towards doctrinal unity, as we work towards greater evangelism and projects and reaching the needs of brothers and sisters in Christ around the world internationally. So be generous in taking up our donation and also be generous in the time that we dedicate to prayer. As we draw near to our Heavenly Father in Jesus' name, we commit to him that we are united in prayer, united in Christ, spirit-led, kingdom-focused, and with a desire to glorify him in all that we are. So may we dedicate time on the IMC annual Sabbath to sincere and focused prayer that the kingdom of God lived in microcosm today can be the salt and the light that reflects Jesus Christ. So in the name of Jesus Christ, 
On behalf of the International Ministerial Congress, I'm your brother, John Classic. Thank you.